comprehensive conda tutorial we will create multiple virtual environments using conda we will create virtual environment with different python versions and we will list and delete and activate conda environments so first open your command prompt and let's check if we can use the command conda or not so if i type conda help as you can see i'm getting this error that says conda is not recognized that is because conda is installed but it is not added to environment variable so let's first add conda to environment variable if you have this working you can skip few seconds of this video okay type anaconda and you will see these options so if you see these options that is fine that means anaconda and conda is installed otherwise you will have to install an anaconda you can check the link in the description to see how you can install anaconda now click on open file location now right click on anaconda navigator and click on open file location again now we are doing this because we want to find out the location where conda is installed so that we can add it to path now go all the way up here and you will see conda bin double click on it and you will see all these options now copy this path where conda is installed you can close this now now let's type environment variable in our start menu click on this click on environment variables click on path and double click on path click new and paste here it's okay it's okay again it's okay again now you need to close this and open command prompt again now we will be able to use conda in our command prompt so as you can see it is now working so first let's create a virtual environment it is pretty simple we can just do conda create name and now let's create the name of the virtual environment let's say my my env1 enter <clears throat> now this is the location where virtual environment will be created type y and hit enter and now our virtual environment is created so to activate it what you can do is you can just type activate and then type my env1 this is the name that we had entered and this will appear in front of your directory here this means that this is activated now if i check my python version here it is 3.11.4 now we can install anything here any package that you want here so if i just install pip so let's say uh virtual soup okay pip is not add to path it seems so i can do this now beautiful soup will be installed in this virtual environment that is my ve and v1 okay uh, now i can deactivate this using deactivate command itself no need to write anything else before deactivating whatever we do if we run python from this terminal or this command prompt we will be using this environment that means whatever is installed in this environment will be accessible but as soon as we deactivate this this is gone now whatever we had installed in this environment will be in this environment but if it is not installed in their global python version it will not be usable if i check python version now it will be the same because we did not specify any python version when we created our environment earlier now let's say we want to use python 3.9 or 3.12 how can you do that so conda makes it very easy to do that you can just go conda create name and let's say my vnv2 this time and we want to use python version 3.12 so you just pass this here and it will create a new virtual environment with python 3.12 hit enter since python 3.12 is not installed it will take a few minutes to download this hit y
now our new virtual environment is created so let's activate it and check our python version so if i check python version now as you can see it is now using python 3.12 so if you have projects that use python 3.12 you will need to activate this virtual environment and then run that project using this python now how to list all the python versions or all the content environments that we have so i'll not exit deactivate this and let's say on the then we list so we have three virtual environments here this is the base one that is default one that is shipped with anaconda and we just created these two now how to delete the environment to delete you can just type anaconda env remove the name of the virtual environment that is my env1 and this is now removed so if i check again As you can see, we and one is removed. Now we only have this two. Let's remove this also. So now we've learned how to create Conda environment, how to activate Conda environment, how to deactivate it, how to create Conda environment with a different Python version. And I hope this video helped you. If you are a beginner, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.